Dude, I just gotta say it, you are one good looking man. Like, I, I, I'm not, you know, but like, I, you're putting out the right stuff right now, let me tell you. Uh, like, real man crew. I, I just wanted to let you know, like, not playing on anything, but hey, you're, you're looking real man crew right now. Talked about how us dudes, us guys, we don't have a whole tire. A lot of compliments for our physical appearance. And I wanted to remedy that, especially because I did somewhat eliminate one, although it was more of a clarification. Aw oh, man, yeah, you're real cute. <laughs> so, I was saying that I needed to make some compliments for guys. This is the first one I'm doing, it's Man Crute, which is kind of like a guy that's gonna give you a man crush. Like, it doesn't mean you're gonna try to capitalize on it. Sure, maybe if you're gay, if you're into guys, or if that's your thing, Man crew can mean that, but I think most of the time it's like if you have a man crush or if you're like, oh, that guy's pretty attractive, you're not trying to capitalize on it if that's not your normal sexuality. Although there are some Zalexials who maybe can break those barriers just because they're on a different level of attractiveness for a human. But man crushes, yeah, you're not really gonna try to make moves on that usually. So that's the base of man crew, is man crush. Then it's kind of like the end of cute, but I didn't want it to sound like cute because that's a declaration of war. So it's just kind of spelled like the end of cute, but it's more pronounced like the end of like shoot or recruit because it's almost like, God damn, this man crush, he can recruit me to the other side. So if you want a masculine term, let another man know, God damn, you look great. Someone should really be into you right now. Maybe not me, maybe me, but someone should be. Say, hey, you look real man crew, man. All right, y'all are man crew as hell. Enjoy your day. Song of the Day is another idea by Mark Rebier. This is a song kind of about the creative process and thinking that you're stuck, you don't know how to come up with another idea. And then he ends up making a spectacular song out of that actual idea. And it's about just kind of forcing yourself into the scenario where you have to do the work, where you have to innovate, and you have to try to make something new. And once you're put into that scenario where you're capable of doing that, even if you don't think you have anything, you can think of stuff. And this is a song that I've listened to for a long time. I've always thought it was inspirational and something that I liked and I thought it was a great approach. It's also partly the reason that this series was created and structured as it was to force myself to make videos every day again, to improve, to always be working towards something and not get complacent because I know that's like the most damn damaging thing for me personally, so I'm like, alright, let's force ourselves to do the thing that we want to do. And then the video of the day is I Don't Want to Stream Today by Marc Rebier, which he made a couple years later, and it was my first time watching this stream about 30 minutes before I decided to make this video, and it actually helped me start thinking about ideas, because I didn't really have one squade it up to go for today, and it helped the creative juices flow, helped me get some ideas going, and every time that I listen to Mark, it just really kind of calms me and makes me a little bit more optimistic and ready to just keep working and just be ready to kind of take on anything. It's just great. If you don't listen to Mark Rebier, I strongly encourage you to. He's been in Whips Picks a ton, but I think his influence and his message is so great that it's something that I think is important to spotlight. That's what we have for the Daily Do. Peace out.